we're here at the Barrel Elites Alternative Investments Conference in New York City. I'm here with Greg Wysocki, and we are going to talk about digital assets today. So Greg, why should institutional investors care about crypto over the long term and the near term? Yeah, I think it's a, a very exciting time to be looking at uh, the space again for institutional investors. Um, I'd say number one, it's still very early in terms of broader adoption. Um, although we've been around for 10 years in terms of the underlying technology, uh, the use cases are just starting to grow and expand. Um, and I think that means from a, an investor standpoint, you, you still have the opportunity to participate in the growth of this network and uh, potentially um, uh, uh, impact your, your longer term uh, portfolio. What that means for investors is that, that you still have the opportunity to participate in this technology before um, it's, it's more broadly adopted. Although we've seen uh, a ton of adoption globally um, from an investor standpoint and what that means on your portfolio, um, we've seen the long-term impact that just even a small allocation to say Bitcoin or Ethereum can have. Um, and I, I don't know of any other asset class out there that has the potential for the same type of convexity that, uh, that crypto has over the longer term. So Greg, how will the next bull market be different from the last one? It's a great question and, and something uh, we talk to a lot of investors about. I think, uh, number one, the um, monetary policy regime is going to be very different. Um, we're entering the spring uh, halving cycle for Bitcoin, and it's a much different um, macro policy environment. Um, so for one, I'm, I'm very interested to see how markets and investors respond to that. Uh, number two, I think um, we've seen the evolution of the use cases um, just continue to grow. So um, folks that are investing today are much more informed than say even three or four years ago. Um, so I, I think there's a, a much broader group of uh, investors that are, that are um, in, involved in this next run. Um, and then lastly, I would say, uh, Regulation. Um, I, I think all of us at Coinbase are looking forward to some broader regulation and having um, rules of the road defined. Um, I think that has the potential to be a major unlock for institutional investors. And uh, that's very different than what we saw in, in, in the last bull run. So what kind of investors are re-engaging in the space? Yeah, I'd say from um, an institutional perspective, we have uh, Family offices are, are very active. Um, a lot of um, macro funds that view Bitcoin as uh, another proxy for real rates, uh, almost to take the place of gold in many cases. Um, we see quants as a, as a very interesting and relevant use case. Um, the interesting thing about quants is they don't necessarily need a fundamental uh, um, price target uh, or, or, or fundamental uh, value to participate in the space. Having the access to a futures contract spot and the ability to go long and short um, make them an ideal segment of the market to participate in, in, in crypto. Um, and then uh, you continue to see a number of uh, just very sophisticated uh, derivatives, volatility investors, as well as uh, macro investors um, who, again, view this as a, a very liquid market, an opportunity to uh, make directional bets um, in, uh, in, in, in the face of, of rising or falling real rates. Yeah, more participants are coming in all the time, especially now. So what are you most excited about for what this future and this topic holds? Yeah, I would say, again, regulatory clarity is, is probably something I'm, um, along with a lot of my colleagues, very excited about. Um, but also uh, the potential to have ETFs in the U.S. I think their involvement in the space is going to uh, deepen the participation in, in institutional trading, which is critical to have a well-functioning market structure. Um, so I, I, I think between those two factors alone, if we were to get those uh, next year and beyond, um, we're setting the stage for a, a very healthy market structure and just an evolution of this uh, uh, asset class to make it much more institutional. So what are the biggest risks we see here? In, in my opinion, the biggest risk is um, 
getting the regulatory side uh, wrong. If, if it stifles innovation, I think, you know, similar to the internet um, in the late 90s and, and you start to see uh, over-regulation, um, I think especially for the U.S., there's a, a, a bit of a risk that the U.S. falls behind relative to the rest of the world. Uh, so, um, you know, selfishly being, being here in the States, I, I worry about that. But um, other than that, I, I, I would say that uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty bullish outlook from both a, um, you know, medium and, and longer term perspective if you have a somewhat destructive view on, on the way uh, the regulatory picture plays out. Thank you, Greg. So there you have it. Greg Wysocki, U.S. Hedge Fund Sales at Coinbase, talking about the institutional opportunities in crypto moving forward.